there and welcome back to some more Fort Smith's but Fort today we'll continue on let's play this is episode 193 in today's episode we're taking a look at the A-Class Multi-Class Event 2 for that we need an A-Class car and well I need a car so we are going to go to Toyota for the 2003 Toyota Sleeker SS1 a weird choice and also it has the action body kit in this game for reasons Action. Anyways, one cool thing we can do with the action body kit is we can take it off. So there's oh, some interesting body mods for this car. Oh no! As you can imagine. Oh no! That's trial uh, one is. Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't hate the action body kit, but there's a lot of games that have the. Action body kit, oh, so yeah, I like the trial kit. To be honest. Oh no, never mind. I thought I'd like it. Those <laughs> fucking are that trial cannons. wing is big. Yeah, the trial makes some cool stuff. Wings West, that isn't a company I've heard in a long time. They usually do the focuses, if I remember it. But it's yeah, like no, you can make this just wings. look like a normal Celica, which is cool. I don't know. That's what I need to look into, is those like rear wings that are sort of banana shaped. So, A-Class. I'm going to try and leave this front wheel drive as long as I feel it's going to be drivable. Uh, but the chances of that are very slim that this thing is going to stay front wheel drive. But we shall it's see. It's okay. You've got the master of setup here. Uh, how much power are we going to get? If it goes over 300, it's getting all-wheel drive locked. Boring. Nope, 305 horsepower, that'll... That's over, that's over 500. But actually, you can take more weight. No, it's out, not over 500, is it? It's 311, you dope. It's over 300. Yeah, it's, it's Wait, close what? enough. Words are hard. Words are hard, English is speaking. <laughs> Anyways. Great success. We now have our sleeper Salika. Kind of rhymes. For the A-Class Multi-Class Event 2. Enter the lead A-Class field in this 12-car multi-class event, which features a separate field of slower E-Class cars. Sunset Peninsula full circuit. See you later, Daniel. Again, thank you, Eric, for your kind words. Um, It's a bit of a walkthrough for me, to be honest with you, because I don't remember a lot of <laughs> So. Yes, you do. You can quote every single line from memory. I can quote every line. I don't mean I'm good at playing it. <laughs> Which game? San Andreas. San Andreas. Oh. Yeah, we still need to do our dramatic recreation of every San Andreas cutscene. Oh, God. We could probably do it. That's the worst bit. Well, I can. You remember some lines from that game. I can't say any of them. You know Horse Cock Harry? No. Yeah, and Buster Carl? All the ones I can think of involve Ryder. Horse Cock Harry? Ryder, when, when, <laughs> when does that happen? Hey. Uh, when does that happen? What? Horse Cock Harry? Uh, it's when you don't do flight school. Oh, wait, what? That's actually in it? Yeah. You get calls from Torino and the first one's like, Oh, learn to fly, Carl. If you want to see your brother again, learn to fly. And Carl's like, Oh, whatever, I don't need to fly. And then the second one's like, Learn to fly, Carl. Oh, well, I was going to talk to you about that. And then Torino's like, Admit it, you're scared. And then they, he goes on a tangent about walking into like Cambodia with only a brief full, full of ca uh, briefcase full of cash. Then you know the meaning of fear. Until then you don't. And then the third time round, it's like, learn to fly, and then he just turns around and goes, Oh, well, it's okay, Carl, it's okay. Because, listen, your brother's getting a new cellmate tonight. Horsecock Harry. <laughs> and I'm sending them a wedding present. Nice little greeting present. Big tub of lube. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man, I'm on it, man, I'm on it, man, I swear. Oh, that's okay, Carl. I can't hear you over your brother's love cries as eight kilometers of cock finds its way up his ass. Am I being clear enough? Is this this will be the final motivational speech I have to give? Okay. 
Dad's going in the video, by the way, because I ended up getting that phone call by accident. Wait, what? Yeah, I got the phone call by accident. Wait, I mean, by, what do you mean by accident? You know it's there. Like, I was evading the flight school for so long I got the horse got carry line. Yeah, but you, sh you should have just made it happen. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, Good. like by hanging around. Because I, I, I know I didn't need to. Yeah, but yeah, because I was gonna have to travel to San Fierro to change clothes and haircut, so because I've got to be really anal about constantly changing clothes and haircuts for different stages of the game and shit. So I did all the missions for uh, the Badlands today, though, and that went pretty well. Other than me being a slight idi idiot on Black Project. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. Let's just say I was ranting about how stupid the AI was and then proceeded to put myself in the stupidest place I could have. Uh, I, I, I mean, I know it's not really a spoiler because by the time this shit gets out, the uh, Let's Play will surely be finished. Uh, Wait. this is going... Oh, shit. This is going up in... Yes. Uh, this is going... This is going up in tandem with it starting from episode 50, so... Yeah, but so one day what? it's this, one day it'll be that. Yeah, but um, when this, this is one ninety three, so that starts at one fifty four. So th this will either be the L. I think by this point it'll be literally this will be the final Falls of Four video before the final episode of that. So yes, yeah, so uh, how far are you? Uh, I literally just finished the Badlands missions today. I need to do all the side missions for the Badlands. Oh, Badlands, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, just Bonelands. Last, sorry. Right. Yeah, Boneland, yeah, Desert. Bone, that, just before Las, just before Las Venturas, right? This one. Yeah, because in the Boneland we're doing the main missions, and now I'm doing the side missions because it's the way it yeah. works. Wait, what? I feel like the first act of the game is the most quotable, and everyone just stopped playing after the damn train. See, the damn train isn't even that. I got past that. I can't remember what mission I got stuck on. Don't you do the opposite normally, like? Uh, I usually do it first, but with that you unlock flight school during the main missions, and also oh. you unlock more stuff. So you like you unlock the street races halfway through being in the desert. It's really weird. So, how in God's name did you roll on that corner? Uh, four to four physics. <laughs> yeah, the literally like said it for me. It's very four to four physics. I sat in one of these roll. before. It's very early 2000s Toyota. <laughs> the uh, the interiors are very sort of rubbery and plasticky, and you sit very low to the ground, which I don't like. Which I know I I hate sitting really? low to the ground. Oh, I'm the opposite. It hurts my back. I can't sit. Oh, right, yeah. I, I like actually had old. to crawl. Uh, yeah, I sat in an MX-5 once. So I could barely get out of it. <laughs> I'm not Aren't even I'm lying. Like, like half a foot taller than you or something. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, no. don't get me wrong, it's hard at first. The, the key to that train mission is just knowing exactly what sort of distance you're supposed to keep between the train and the smoke. Unless you want to go for the fancy way of doing it, which is just hop up onto some rooftops and then drive onto the train itself. I tried doing that a few times. But I did make it you past, past it. it. it yeah. You're in the bone land from what I remember last time we played I... it. Should I open it up in the background and see where I am? Go for it. Yeah. Go that was actually quite a fun little sort of Discord play San Andreas for a while, so. Yeah. Or rather, Discord attempts to play San Andreas while Boost goes and does his own thing. Wait, I'm a speedrunner. Yes. Speedrunner. Did, did you try to play San Andreas one day? Yeah, he played oh, it go. with us in Discord. When? It was a thing for about a week or so. Yeah. And I wasn't there. You downed one cider and you're flat on your back. That's... I good. wasn't there fucking hell. I'm, I'm sad. Alright, what well, we got? Nissan Versa, Honda Fit, Scion XD. I think these are the same cars that showed up in our E-Class event when we did it. I By the way, I'd like to point you. out a Toyota Celica is now comfortably beating a Ferrari F430 in a Viper. Wait, what? <laughs> the Celica is currently on. beating a 430 in a Viper. 
No, sorry, I've lost all my save data. Are you sure you accidentally hadn't hidden it somewhere? New PC in it. No. Yeah. I've had this same one since 2017. San Andreas, uh, you haven't moved your C drive or anything, have you? No. Documents, Rockstar, GTA San Andreas, check the save data from there. Oh, I know what I did. Yes, okay, cool. Um, I was a very smart person who tried to move that documents thing without really understanding how to do it. You did what I did with GTR 2, didn't you, where it breaks because you moved something? Probably. Yeah. Actually, I believe I completely wiped documents folder, is what I did. Nice. Yeah, I'm an intelligent person. Nice, clean layers. I think it was on the flight missions or something. Oh, God. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, Someone tells like me that went badly. No, man, I like uh, cider. Cider's better than like normal. Mike's hard. It. Okay. Mike's hard strawberry. I'm not usually a fan of strawberry flavoured alcoholic beverages, but if I see it, then I'll have a look. What if you, you keep going to talk chat for me? I don't know, even if you go on live chat, it doesn't show all the fucking messages. It's really weird. Huh. Yeah, no, I keep putting it on live chat, and then when I like, go to look back at it, like I haven't closed the stream right Yeah. Now. Swap tabs. Uh, that is a thing. I've seen that happen before. Uh, fun. You just sort of have to keep an eye on it every now and again. Internet mysteries. What the fuck's that? What? Oh, right, okay. It's so much, you know when something shows up in your subscription box on YouTube and you're like, what the fuck is that? No. I've never heard of this channel. Oh, hey, Lime Rock. Yes, Lime Rock. Spanish Lime Rock. Oh god, fucking shit ass. <laughs> I mean, Lime Rock is in Watch me speed bridge. Mate, if you want bad photoshops, wait until we get to the hill climb events. They have the worst photoshopping you've ever seen. Once you get our first gear, it's not bad. There's a fair bit of torque steer, but it's not. I guess I could fuck with that by messing with the diff, though, so... I'm not going to, there, but I could. You don't really get torque steer in this game, do you? It's more like bumps there. Well, I turn the wheel and the wheels spin and it means the car doesn't turn. That's the that... opposite of torque steer, then. <laughs> well, no, because that's torque changing the direction of the car. You just said it doesn't turn. Yeah. It's talk actively plowing the front of the car forward. Yeah, it's just called understeer. There's power understeer. No, no, because it's understeer is usually when you're trying to turn and the wheels don't do what you do, not that power's going through them. No, it doesn't make a difference. You'd be on throttle, off throttle. I discovered this channel looking for Let's Plays of Grand Chessman 4. Yeah, you and probably a lot of people, but I appreciate that uh, quite a few people find it through GC4. And the three channels I had found before this one had really annoying voices, and you were easier to listen to. Well, thank you. I don't know. Hold on, wait. The ones before had, but this. Was I only like know. I don't know how many. Yeah, I don't know how many YouTube. A lot of them are American. I know American voices can sound. My God, we're getting backfire from the sleeper Salika. Ooh. Salipa. There you go. That means your head is a too short. Salipa. Can I call this episode Salipa? No. I'm calling this episode Salipa. I like how the pun only works if you're British, though. Salikar? 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 It doesn't work, does it? Salikar? Salik? No, because you don't. There's no. If there's no C in it, then it doesn't change the way the American says it. Because it's this. <laughs> Is there an American online? Hold on. Aunt <laughs> Aunt Geraser to just come in here and explain something to us quickly. He's on mobile only. 
I don't care, it'll work. This is a crucial question. One that could change the fate of the universe. And everyone to ever encompass the universe. Who else is American or online? That's... Game Wiz will be doing something by this time. Thunder's Canadian. <laughs> yeah, that's, that doesn't count. You're American. I don't even know. Who's online? Eric, well, right, know. Eric, if you're American, does Selipa work if the car's called Selika? Because for you it would be Selika, but obviously if you remove the ICA, that would... Because some words change depend. Because Sel just means Sel. In American. I want. I really want to see the viewer attention for this video. <laughs> what as Americans forcefully like bang their head against the fucking wooden cupboards? <laughs> wooden cupboards. Yes. I switch between the two because occasionally Selica's funny. I say Selica all the time. So yeah, I'm back, and now I have a beer. So. Fair enough. And I have and I have my my German beer mug too. German Just, beer mug. Yeah. I survived October first. Big fifty centi centiliter fucking mug for beer. You know, the big fucking fat. Boost. What's that in English? What? Fifty centiliter. Fifty centiliter. What's that mean? Like five hundred mils, isn't it? Alpha, alpha liter. Yeah. Alpha liter. Wait, isn't our measurements all? Why the fuck are you saying CL? That's not... Uh, oh, they use that for beer and stuff. It's weird. Selica more often, Selica doesn't sound as natural. It's like how in, um, in chemistry we use decil decim decimeters? Decim yeah, decimeters. Yeah. yeah. Decimeters yeah. cube instead of just saying liters. Yeah, but that's that's bec that's because um, I'm going to tell you why boost because uh, in the s standard system of Unity and shit like that you use me cu cubic meters, so one liter is this this meter cube. It's done, but it's like that. What's good is that cows are the only reason I can remember. There's a thousand centimeter cubed in a liter. Yeah, no, Selicus. Uh, I mean, I guess the pun would still work because it's only the f it's only the last part of the name that changes. I'm doing it anyway, so. Hmm. Don't stop. Well, unless I forget. If I forget, you then will. you'll hear me just give it a stupid title like "Best Front Wheel Drive Toyota?" Question mark. Yeah, correct us in the title. In the you, title. Can usually, yeah. you can usually you can usually tell you channel. can usually tell when I'm running out of title ideas if there's a question in the title. I mean, or in the case of the Gran Turismo stuff, when I used to just like, what was the title? Actually, no, I, I'm quite proud of those titles. I mean, to the me best seventies car is a Honda. The best eighties car is a Honda. The best nineties car is a Honda. <laughs> the best, best car is a Honda. <laughs> I still think the best all-wheel drive car is a Honda. What the Honda Civic All Track? I agree. I was going to say two Civic Slipstreaming. Well, no, because then that's an eight-wheel drive car. I meant to say four-wheel drive. Shush. Yeah, there you go. One night in Bahrain, Sedona. It is the same, because all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive are different, and I'm used to saying all-wheel drive. Because that's the more common one. Is it? No. Well, it is if you're talking about sports cars. Actually, I guess it is more common these days. Um, Imagine. yeah, because well, most crossovers are, like, you either yeah. buy one or the other, there's no flip switchable anymore. I think the only stuff that has switchable these days is trucks. Well, I say, yeah, it's only four-wheel drive if it's, if it's not always active. No, but I think the only thing that does that now is trucks. Yeah. Because I don't even think, like, Land Cruisers and stuff have switchable anymore, because they just have low mm. ranges. Fair enough. The X5 might, I don't know. I mean, it gets into a weird point where it's then like, um, yeah, this, the... Did you know you can get a two-wheel drive. drive X5, by the way? 
Uh, that doesn't surprise me, no. Mm. Rear wheel drive, though. Um, yeah, well, it's BMW, isn't it? Ultimate driving machine, rear wheel drive is best drive. What, well, aside from the BMW 2 Series Active Tourer, BMW 1 Series. I love the 2 BMW Series Active X1. Tourer because of the name. It's the worst car ever made. I know. It's so <laughs> but it's great. Small. No, there is a i3 that was made. I like the i3. Like, an ironic <laughs> name. Yeah, but the 2 Series. It, the problem is the i3. Actually, no, the i3 is a bad car. Um, <laughs> I like the i3. <laughs> The there's no is real, the, there's, the there's a reason the resale that. values are actually boost. Yeah. If, if you give it a year, you'll probably be able to be able to afford an i3 because they're about <laughs> they're fucking depreciating like stones right now. I could get a carbon fiber monocoque car as my first car. Wait, it's carbon fiber. Yeah, and then you can impress yeah. all the ladies as you say that. Hey, you uh, know my I car. Like my car is electric, so it's good for the environment. It, it also has a monocoque. The yeah, wait until he tells them that their seats are made from recycled plastic and toilet paper, and then oh, I'm the gutting all that anyway. Living in Utah has made me absolutely despise Subaru. Every single person I've ever seen out here that drives a Subaru is the biggest pile of trash in existence. Hey, you so, say right? We get that with BMWs. Topic. And yeah, Tesla's. Uh, completely off topic. Emil, what was your last car? Cool. No one to answer that. I mean, the last car I drove before my current car was a 500. <laughs> That's not what the question was, though. Convertible. What was your last car? Well, the last car oh, was yeah, an Aston Martin V12 Zagato Villa de Esti. Did you no. see the street? No. no, in real life, before the Accord. <laughs> I've hey, gone. What was what was Oh it was the Impreza, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've gotta be funny. perfectly honest, I blank that thing out of my mind quite a lot often, <laughs> so <laughs> I genuinely forget about the Impreza. Oh my god, that's amazing. It's dead now anyway, so there's nothing to remember it by, unlike yeah, the panda which true. is still thriving. Or was it a clutch engine? I don't know. Uh, as a money shifted. Alright. Ah, Transity 0 to 60s in low range. No, yeah, fucking hell, I remember that shit. The C6 was more OP in the previous game. Uh, it actually isn't too bad in this game either. Um, you just don't really see it as much. I think the lead group of this hasn't really changed since Forza 2, though it's always F430, C6, Viper Sati. How riced out was it? It wasn't at all. Um, it was a completely stock 1.5R. Well, I had it anyway. The next owner um, improved it, shall we say. Sarcastically. Uh, yeah. Did he do things to it? Oh, yeah, 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 of course he did. Because I, f I fucking died way too quickly for that. No, he did loads of weird shit with it, so... I mean, you know we're talking about, so yet yeah, that doesn't surprise me. He's gonna make all these cars unique. I mean, can't blame him. I can. <laughs> I don't do uni uniqueness in cars. I don't you do uniqueness anyway. What's your dream car? Uh... It doesn't have a dream. My dream attainable car is a Camry Hybrid, because it's comfortable, it's got leather, 52 miles to the gallon. Me and you are total opposite. Actually, I agree on the fuel economy, so... Automatic gearbox. Good shit. Disagree. Um, money yeah, no object. Um, I don't know, actually. I'd have a few cars, and I can't really... Wasn't it a Camry? Well, money no object implies that I don't have to go anywhere. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I think I know what my money no object outlandish spend car would be. Money you no know, object outlandish comfortable. Boring. 
Six twelve Scalietti. Maybe. Oh. Really? Yeah, I like the Scalietti. It's one of my favourite Ferraris. And it's less hardcore than the 575, so. Yeah, 6 row Scalietti. Let's go with that. Boring. I drive a 19 year old Camry. Shout out to Camrys. Shout out to all my people repping that Camry. I'll join you soon, one day. Or I'll buy a Suzuki Swayze. We haven't decided yet. Go on, Boost. What? What's your car? You can't modify it, by the way. Just. Valkyrie. Oh. Valkyrie. Aston Martin. Why? Speed. It's hideous. Uh, no, it's beautiful. Because there's not a single bit of styling on that car. Fully intend to put 400k on it. Nice. If my car, if my Accord explodes, I'm probably gonna get a camera. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna finance a CRZ actually. You know, I don't know. You forget. I don't like styling on cars. I just like performance. Ludo, what's your favourite money no object car? Mm, Favorite car? F40. F40. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's 90, It's from '92. I'm born in '92, so I'm a nerd. So yeah. Well, born in Forza's from '92. Yeah. Hey. The actual car was '87. '89. Yeah, '92 yeah, yeah, has more power. The American fun fact about F40 yeah. collector ships: the f yeah. American ones are actually the ones to go for. Really? Why? Because they were bumped up to about 515 brake horsepower. Yeah, yeah, but there is one thing though: they have the ugly bumpers. No, they don't. You change a bumper. Nah, they Do made no changes to the bumper as far as I know. No, I thought they had. No, that was the fucking Countach that got those weird fucking things put on it. A modified van, I can respect that. I do like what a good van. What van is it like? I do like a good van. Uh, the US cars, I think, had a bit of thicker plastic trim on the bumpers. On the yeah, F40. It's not bad. I mean, Forza's got the it's, American one, so. It's barely noticeable, but it is. Yeah. Yeah, Forza's are American, so. KSL. Found it for fifteen dollars. Yeah, that's all. That's the thing. If you find a car that's been taken care of pretty darn well, then it'll go for. My God, what has happened to? The, speaking of not taking care of cars, what has happened to my back end? <laughs> oh well. Boost, are you turning into free? Yeah, you no, see. it's just funny to say. I mean, what? let's. Fun. If we're going full like. I'm not. If we're going I like full supercar, if we're going full supercars, then I'd get an Enduro RS. But... I I see what you're trying to mean, but no. Enduro no. RS. Enduro RS. Oh right. You like, don't yeah, you don't like food. you don't like that in course, do you? No, I like my cars to be comfortable. <laughs> you really? I'm surprised. Think you can say something a bit taller. Taller. Don't. Force me. Yeah, don't but force look me at the doors. Gives me plenty yeah. of room to get out. It was on the ground. Hmm. So yeah, I I like the Valkyrie. Cause what tall supercars are there? I don't know. The Mega. The what was that? The the Axiom Mega. Yeah, Mega. Fine. Fuck you. I'll just get a Toyota Mega Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> 4one four four-cylinder diesel. Uh, the Mega Track, I forgot what it was. Yeah, no, the first ever crossover. In Dreamcars, an 05 Lotus Elise. Yeah, 05 Lotus Elise, you can get away with that because that's the good one with the Toyota engine as opposed to the bad one with the Rover engine. Not that, it was. Yeah, Mark II Elise has had Rover engines. Yeah, in no, no, it's not, two it's years. not that. I'm not talking about that. I don't care about that. Um, wow. Yeah, no, I mean, don't, don't take it bad. It's not against you. When have I ever been offended by French. you? No, you, you didn't Why did I do try it. to follow that Viper? Because <laughs> your intelligence is low. No, no. Thanks for that. Okay. Seven seat, a twin turbocharged van. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was too busy reading chat. 
Well done. Homer's Toyota. Yeah, the Mega Cruiser. I found that on Google Maps. You know, in the uh, Daiko. What, a Toyota Fuso? Mega Cruiser? Yeah, genuinely. You know, nice. the uh, Daiko Futo, that place in Japan, that car park under the highway yes, where yes, they did yes, Mega yes, Cruiser yes, uh, stuff? Yeah, I, I, I do. I get what you mean, yeah. What about yeah, that book? Also, I'm also checking some mail does as well. Mm. But yeah, no, uh, if you go on Google Maps there, there's one there with two military looking guys standing next to it. Well, it wasn't no idea what they're doing there. Yeah. I don't know what use Japan has for them though. Are they, like, invading places? Stopping themselves from being invaded by Russians. When are you going to use a big cruiser? Or more likely the Chinese. <laughs> Mm. Why? The Chinese aren't going to take over the world. Stop the I've world. played Homefront. Hey, oh god. You've played what? Homefront, Homefront. says the Korea's... Ki Listen, Korean, Homefront yeah. called fucking Kim Jong-un dying. And it also called a pandemic in the US in the year 2022, so... Is he yeah, dead? Kim Jong-un isn't dead. Yeah, he is. He's dead. He's dead. No, yeah, oh yeah, dead. Kim Jong-il, sorry. Okay. It called Kim Jong Il's death in 2013, and he died like literally in 2013. So I'm just sure. saying, by 2025, if a United Korea is knocking down houses in America and killing children in the streets, I didn't warn you. Home front did. <laughs> Although, don't play the second game. Yeah, I yeah they, I mean, Japan, you have to show them where you're supposed to, you want to park your car before you can buy a car, so can you imagine fucking trying to park your Mega Cruiser? <laughs> hmm. Also, I don't think fuel's particularly uh, common in Japan. Hence why I'm almost 100. I think the two best-selling cars are the Prius and the Honda Fit. In that I mean, order. Reasonable. And then, like, all the key cars. Are key cars still selling well? I thought they, were, they weren't they were so much now. Well, they've um, loosened up restrictions, but they're still selling. No, I, I, th I thought the... Yeah, the tax benefits and whatever would go. Yeah, they so loosened the tax work. benefits. Double... Which is, Double 20 can. Uh, <laughs> I, w I want to say it's a shame, but after driving a car with 69 horsepower... Oh, shut up. What? You're fucking... You had 14 more horsepower than I did. Yeah, I know. That didn't make it fun. And I toffed it out. Genuinely. It's right. called owning a first car, unfortunately. I told you this. You go through misery for the first year, and then you can finally afford something you actually sort of want with the wrong engine, and then after two years you can buy yourself something you actually want. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, I mean... Um, the Mega Cruiser is an absolute unit. <laughs> it really is. You don't, you don't have to fucking uh, afford this car. No. Exactly. What the so fuck are you doing? That? What? I mean, oh, I can hear, like, sorry, I didn't write how loud I mean, that was. Right. Boost, I thought he's like you're clapping actually, or some shit. You're actually no. looking at that one boost. You wanna know yeah. why? Because since you didn't Yeah, you didn't it, it it disappoints you but you didn't pay for it, so it's there is that at least. Yeah, if I you're was like, paying for it, I probably would have gone around and test drove a bunch of things. Yeah. What you should have done really is bought a Saxo or one point one, because they only have sixty horsepower, but I you'd fucking feel that. Just playing on gutting it and hoping that after enough weight it'll finally feel like something. No, don't just get rid of it as soon as you can. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you There's no point of fucking modifying anything anyway until you get to like 25 because... Oh no, I'm not spending actual money on modifying No, no, I mean as in like changing it at all because as soon as you fucking write it off they'll be around and go, hey. Yeah, have I not told you... Have I not, have I not told you the story of a fucking car crash my friend you... saw outside college. No. <laughs> Apparently this fucking Vauxhall course coming out of college crashed straight into a lamppost or something. Oh no. And the first thing the guy did was get out, go into the boot, grab the subwoofer and ran all the way home with it. 
Yes. And then return to the car to sort it out. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> How am I supposed to I mean, bu build a reliable seven seat, a twin turbocharged van? Um, well, you never specify power. Slapping two turbos or something doesn't instantly sap reliability. Oh, you could get a transit with a V6 and that should pull it off. And that's uh, that's it. If you like, they can get like think, uh, those EcoBoost transits in America that are like three hundred horsepower. That should be enough. They're twin turbo. EcoBoost engine, to be honest, because. I found a company that builds engines for Radical, and so they've got a couple of like EcoBoost engines mm -hmm. that have some serious power to weight ratios. Windstars are some of the most reliable. I I can't I kind of have a soft spot for the Windstar because amazingly I got yeah, two wait, Windstar wait, models wait, from Toys R Us, which wait, was uh, great. I mean, I mean, when you say Windstar, do you mean the Ford Windstar? Yeah, the Ford Windstar MPV. Yeah, 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 I got yeah, two I, Toys R Us models from, uh, yeah. I think that was actually from you, France I bought those in. You wanna know the fucking irony about that? Mm. You know what? when I went, I, I went, when I went to my parents when I came back, there was some fucking German with one on, on the trailer. Yeah, the Germans have a weird taste in minivans from that period. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like, yeah, yeah. like If I you wanna find a Sintra, go to Germany. I was driving and then I saw fucking van. I was like, "What the fuck is that?" They look. A Ford Speaking Windstar, of which, I haven't done that for a while. Didn't Celine modify a uh, Windstar? Yes. Yeah, because it was built, all built specifically for Tim Allen. Was it? Yep. Amazing. It was a I thank mean, you for funding this racing project. I think. Tim or he commissioned it. I don't remember. I mean, what's good? I think is is Timelin dead? I think he's dead. Van base truck, yeah. Tim Allen's not dead, I don't think. Why the fuck does it say actor? Because he was an actor. Was Home he? Improvement. Oh, hmm. I fuck it. Have you not Wait. seen Home Improvement? It was literally advertised on the Celine White bodies. Wait, I fuck Tim Allen. Home Allen Improvement. Was the... It was a comedy show he did. Wasn't Tim Allen the guy? Uh, wait, I thought Tim Allen was the guy. Be one was one of the guy beyond uh, Microsoft. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was an actor on Home Improvement who just randomly had a passion for motorsport. Oh yeah. no! It, it was Paul Allen, which was behind Mi Microsoft. Yeah. But he's the one everyone forgets about because his name isn't Bill. Why would anyone buy a yeah. Sprinter when Transit vans? Yeah, and, sprinters and are weird. People just buy Mercedes cost quality, apparently. Could be worse. It could be those old fucking Freightliner sprinters that are in the US. Or Dodge sprinters. Just another relic of the fantastic Daimler Chrysler merger. <laughs> How well did that go? Uh, uh, well, well. To be fair, we got a good bit of memes to add to the chassis. Uh, fair sharing. point. I mean, at, at Polo, what and I, having yeah, hot Polo. debates over how much of it was Mercedes and what Mercedes it came from. <laughs> yes. Polarin does good thing though. Also, I just came up around the automation video. Aren't I clever? I don't okay. know. But yeah, Polarin does good things. He actually found the. Uh, Mission to find like a uh, vessel that that was sunk like in World War and shit. Hmm. And I think he was one of the guys that found the Titanic. Nice. We should do yeah. actually. Uh, Amel, idea. Mm -hmm. You record an automation video. You record my audio as well of me watching you, but you can't hear anything I'm saying. We should just stream <laughs> automation. So it's just you building stuff and me going, no, 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 what do you know? It's <laughs> not. Right, here's an idea for an automation video. Yeah. Beat the transit. <laughs> it's not hard. No, no, first year. It's not very fast. No, no. It's not just about quickness. Yes, it is. you got to have you more cargo more. capacity and volume. Slow. No, no, but you gotta have more cargo capacity and volume while being quicker. So, so you get to make a, a Renault? No, no, because then you have to use like leaf springs and shit to get good cargo capacity. Oh. Kind of. 
the no, Renault, I mean, Renault the, Renault don't the fucking uh, let me tell you but by, by the way boys and girls the fucking damage model on this thing is uh, a bit fucked if you I can't mean, tell I mean, yeah I mean don't say girls there is no girls in the chat I have like two percent female audience two percent that much Whoa. oh yeah. I should check mine so we're <laughs> <bad. laughs> minus <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I genuinely had that at one point, 100% male, 0.1% female. Nice. Chevy vans? Yeah, it's like Chevy Express and stuff like that. Sprinter uh, van. Actually, you know, Why are you a Sprinter van with initial D? I don't get it. <laughs> uh, a Sprinter. Ah, uh, 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 ha, 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 fuck you. Also, talking about van, let, let, let's go back on the fucking uh, Winstar ISO. Mm. It was actually it was actually illegal, <laughs> friends, hmm. because the fucking the, the fucking Dumbass Germany. I don't know what they did. They they actually went on the fucking road without actually um, having a plate on the car, which is illegal here. <laughs> Those things are pieces of shit. I don't doubt it. It's a Chevrolet. I'm 100% male viewer audience. Are you serious? Might have a problem. Yes. Nice. Ah, uh, I know. I can't say that on stream. <laughs> Never mind. Also, it'd, be, it'd be good to diversify and stuff like that, but I don't know how I'd go about it, so... <laughs> Boost the ethanol for women just comes out and just like... Uh... He doesn't know what... No, I mean, uh, Boost doesn't know what we mean. See, there's only sexist jokes that can be made there, and I'm not like Exactly, that that's why I don't want to go about it. The aerodynamics of a Gucci bag. <laughs> no. What? what? No. I'm, I mean, no. I, mean I, f I, f I think somewhere with Boost... We I'm not going to lie. I, I think I'd love to see the... About that. Yeah. I think the official figures for automation would have about 5% female audience, if that, so... Uh, I mean, uh, as I was saying, I think Boost actually found out something that um, boobs are actually pretty fucking aerodynamics. Uh, that, well, there's that big research paper on it that I don't understand enough about aero to explain or understand that. Mm. How fucking much of it. a turbo virgin do you have to be to write a... I'm pretty sure someone just did it as a joke, like at a university or something, like, so they're like... Like, I assume it was something for school. And they just sent it in, but it's either that or well you wrote written. something and didn't remember you wrote it. <laughs> I wouldn't write something that complicated. He's not smart enough. I'd yet. like to think that I'm actually quite good at making things simple enough to understand. You did a like, ten-minute video on the Daytona wing. Yeah, which I think I don't know. I got all the main considerations about it. Yeah, but. You could. It, it was too long. Well, right. If I do it in like. Okay, let George show you how to do this. Did it make oh. the car go faster? Yes. End of video. <laughs> <laughs> That's it all you like need. Top gear, Mister Need Needham, uh, bits. Yeah. You know, is it, Does is it, it make green? it faster? Yes. Was it effective? No. There you go. Boom. Done. It's like that video on the Volvo 850. It was it effective? Not really. Was it a good idea in theory? Yeah. Done. Kind of. Yeah, but you, I, I like explaining why stuff happens. It annoys me to be honest when people say like, I was talking to someone about a uh, midnight uh, club car. Hmm. I was like, how did they make it so aerodynamic? And they said, well, they had a wind tunnel, which is meaningless. What? I mean, that's how Williams is going to try and make their car better next year. Yeah, but it's not. You, it's what you do with it, not. Oh, they have a wind tunnel. <laughs> Hold on. Wind I've, I've just got this idea now. What? Williams gets to spend more time in the wind tunnel. Williams just puts George Russell in the wind tunnel. <laughs> they stick that to car see how sideways. aerodynamic he is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just there, like, what do we do with all this time? Hey. They put Frank in there and see if he can survive. <laughs> no, Frank is not there anymore. He's dead. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's how he dies. They and across the line. <laughs> no, they've got like one of those ones that's got a fan at the back sucking air through, and mm. he just like you see his wheelchair there, and it just slowly like like rolls backwards. 
He you said it, ladies and gentlemen, not me. Anyways, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we're going to be taking a look at the S-Class Multi-Class 2. So join us for that. Until then, farewell.